Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan. So what this one we got is, it's a Gladhill Pulsar Coil A-Class. And what's happening is the boiler's overheating. So we've arrived on site and we're going to show you what we found. So Sonil, what do you think about the diagnostic, what we did? How long did it take you to diagnose a problem? Uh, less than one minute. Less than one minute, yes. And this is what we do. This is what I do. So I'm showing guys, if you get on this program like Sunil, like Wazim and other guys and got a new guy who signed up as well, you can diagnose this quick. Also in this particular problem what we're um, going to talk about, there was another problem which, this was really disturbing. And what happened, it's been rectified now but this boils blowing fuses. If you pass me a screwdriver, I'll just point out what happened. So this is what happened. Somebody fitted a thermostat here. I'm not pointing to it because it's got live power at the moment. So they fitted an, a rod thermostat here. And what they did, the live and neutral, which you can see, connect to the immersion heater, they connected them two wires straight into a normal thermostat so when the thermostat made it short circuit and just banged and they left it like that and this was supposed to be some qualified heat engineer working out in the field working on this type of appliance and went and wired it like that if you look on my instagram you'll see a picture of that thermostat wiring if you don't believe in it and that's how they left it and they've got to made another problem, which we've gone and diagnosed. So we're going to show you what's happening. As I said, this body's overheating. So for tunnel, I want you to get your multimeter and show people what's going on. We're going to connect. If you connect your neutral, I'll hold your multimeter for you. So go on your neutral block. Now, what we've got. We've got power coming on one, which you can see there. That's a feed coming in, which is normal. Now, the boost is off, so there should be no power onto this bottom immersion heater. Now let's go to the immersion heater and let's show them on the immersion heater. Go across there. See, so we've got power there. When there should be no power on, because this is off so what's happening you can release now you can release so what's happening that's staying constantly on until the whole thing starts boiling and the customer was terrified when she heard it up bubbling all steam coming out the top of it so it's got power permanently on and the reason is because this relay here is stuck on so what we do now we'll go to the other relay next door at the bottom there so you've got power coming out of the relay which that relay should be off so that relay basically is stuck on change the relay and then you'll we'll test it again and you'll see it's working properly so that's not going to be it we're going to change the relay over and then you'll see what we've done here is your feed coming in so these two wires here live and neutral there Go across them two, and you're going to do your priority check. Yeah, these two there. Yeah, yeah. Just check. So power's off, and then go on live and earth. The earth is next to it. Okay, that's off, and then live, sorry, neut neutral and earth. Okay, so we know the power's off, so it's safe to work on. So you always do that when it's safe. So we're just repa preparing our new one. I buy them in pairs like this, but we're just going to use a single one today. Okay, so now so tell people what it's like for you doing hands-on after doing your classroom training. Yeah, it's a reality. 
uh, from reality classroom to reality situation. That's it. Exactly. So, um, are you feeling? You're doing quite well with your diagnostics. It's sinking in now. You're going to be training. Yes. Yes. The first time I came in here, I I know that I learned in the reality classroom this uh, Persa coil. Um, for a for a moment I was uh, like you know frozen. <laughs> what the hell it is? Mm. Then uh, I step back and uh, uh, look look back again and uh, uh, I figured it out. Um, the uh, and uh, now I know that what's happening. What what is happening? It's a cylinder which is. Uh, primary water inside and the primary water is heating this plate heat exchanger and makes hot water mm, mm. and that's simple um, it's a simply a um, hot water cylinder this one this well, it's a thermal store thermal store yes mm. so with your sort of training in the classroom like you said that when you've seen the real one it sort of phased you but then it, you quickly got your thoughts yes, together yes I in, <laughs> in my brain right okay just connecting the new relay up now. We're now done. Put our new relay on. We're going to turn the power on and just test it, see what's happening. New relay. Yeah, so that's your new relay. Okay, so turn the power back on. So what was getting and said was getting constant power at the immersion heater. So we're going to test it now and see how we're doing. So pull across there. So that's correct, no power. Because I said that was permanently on all the time and boiling this heater. So we're going to turn, one minute, we're going to press a boost now. So press a boost. Now we've got power. So now it's working correctly. So that's it. So you've done it again. So uh, everything's come together for you. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Good. It's a good learning experience. As I told you before, that you know what we learned at uh, the classroom, uh, which I'm pr uh, doing on site now. So I'm happy. Good. All right. So that's going to be the end of this video so as I said if you want to find out more you can check out the website and also you can continue our journey with our trainees you got Wazim and now you got Sunil and there's gonna be some more following his steps so stay tuned and I'll see you on the next episode